The last time Mizzou played Tennessee, the Tigers picked up a historic win, but it wasn't without some drama. Sophie Cunningham elbowed the volunteer player in the face, and a Tennessee assistant coach was not happy, refusing to shake Sophie's hand after the game. Twitter blew up too, and the entire Mizzou team took a break from social media after that game. Pink out day as Sophie honored before the game for becoming the third Tiger to score 2,000 career points in that huge win at number five Mississippi State. First half, it's a cutting Cunningham who gets the scoop lay-in to roll in. Sophie had 13 points but made only one of eight threes. Later, it's Sierra Porter down low with a strong move plus the foul. She had 13 points and nine rebounds. Mizzou led by one at the half. This game would go down to the wire about three minutes left and Tennessee's Mimi Collins hits the open three to put the Volunteers up two. But the Tigers answer right back. Amber Smith with a great spin move for two. She led Mizzou with 14 points. Then it's Tennessee's turn. Evina Westbrook driving in the hoop. She misses right here but gets her own rebound to give the Vols a two-point lead. Just over a minute left, Sierra Porter right here in between two defenders down low for the awesome finish. We're tied up at 60. Tennessee would hit two free throws to take a two-point lead. Under 10 seconds left, Sophie Cunningham doubled in the lane, kicks it, out, kicks it out to Akira Levy, who misses the three. Mizzou somehow got one last chance, but with 0.3 seconds left, Jordan Chavis's crazy three came way after the buzzer. The Tigers walk off the court. Mizzou loses the heartbreaker 62-60. Everyone shakes Sophie's hand this time, and Coach B took a positive approach to the loss. We're on a mission. We understand what's in front of us. This absolutely this is a tough one, but you know we've been playing pretty well lately. Um, I don't know that we, we played our best today, um, but we didn't play bad. But we're in a good place. That locker room's in a good place. Uh, we've got a lot to play for yet. Uh, I'm proud of where our team's at. The Tigers fall to 19 and 8 on the season and 8 and 5 in the SEC. Mizzou will get a break this upcoming week. They don't play again until next Sunday at Auburn. More Mizzou basketball and a tough loss for the men. The Tigers trailed most of the way at Ole Miss yesterday and were down 19 early in the second half. Mizzou would rally behind Jordan Geist who had a game-high 23 points. The Tigers got back within single digits, but as has been the case much of the year, turnovers were a problem. 25 of them for Mizzou. The Tigers lose by 10, falling to 3-9 in the SEC. Mizzou will host Kentucky Tuesday night. Moving to Mizzou softball, the Tigers beat rival Kansas for the second straight week behind a nine-run fourth inning. Mizzou run-ruled KU, winning 12-0 in five innings. That's six straight victories as the Tigers are 8-2. and two. And the Mizzou baseball team lost at North Florida 4-2. Jacob Kent Kentlebury threw six scoreless innings, but North Florida had a four-run seventh. To rally for the win, the Tigers dropped two out of three for the series. Moving on to wrestling, it was a busy but yet successful state championship weekend for many of our local wrestlers. Here's a recap of the state champions. Nine mid-Missouri wrestlers captured state titles. Class 2 saw five of those, including the second straight for Mexico's Dylan Nichols. He won at 145 pounds, finishing a perfect 27-0 on the season. Speaking of dominance, how about Fulton freshman Owen Oles, who won at 106 pounds, moving to 54-1 on the year. More first-time winners, Eldon's Isaiah Simmons takes a tight match at 113 pounds, a huge victory for the senior. It meant a lot. It meant almost anything in the world to be able to come here and just make the school proud, my team proud, my coaches proud, my family. More winners at 152 pounds. Boonville's Brant Whitaker capped a 49-1 campaign with the state championship. And finally at 195 pounds, Centralia Jr. Trevor Bodine made quick work of his opponent for his first state title. It's amazing. I've worked eight years for this out of my whole life. It's, it's a dream come true. Moving to Class 1 and history for Hallsville. At 138 pounds, Andrew Huddleston wins by decision, becoming the first Hallsville Indian to win a state championship in wrestling. More Class 1 at 132 pounds. Tolton's title tradition continues as Teague Travis won his second straight title with ease. And how about this? Travis had come back from a broken ankle just in time for districts. It's pretty special coming in here and winning both with my ankle and everything. Just I didn't know I was going to be able to be here today winning. On the Class 3, a perfect 27-0 season for Rollins' Nathan Pulliam ends with a state title at 132 pounds. 
And finally, for the first time, we saw girls wrestling at the state meet. Hickman's Mary Bell Harrow is the first local girls wrestler to win a state title. She finished the perfect 22-0 this season. Congrats to all nine of our local state champions. And Moberly finished fourth as a team in Class 2 on the hockey. The Blues looking for their 10th straight win, which would tie the team record. First period, Ryan O'Reilly to Vladimir Tarasenko for the opening goal. Tarasenko has a point in 12 straight games. Late in the first period, Blues on the power play and some great team passing sets up. Vince Dunn for the goal. The Blues go on to win 4-0, tying the team record with 10 straight wins. And we finished with the Daytona 500 in the start of the NASCAR season. NFL star J.J. Watt was the Grand Marshal. Ten laps to go, and here comes a huge wreck. A 21-pile car up. Absolutely crazy watching this. Thankfully, there were no serious injuries from this crash. Really tough footage to watch. They'd eventually get back to racing, and for the second time in four years, it's Denny Hamlin who wins the Daytona 500. And uh, tough losses for Mizzou wrestling and basketball this weekend. But I will say this, huge crowds, 8,500 for the Mizzou ladies, 4,500, which is a record for Mizzou wrestling. So the weather did not keep the Mizzou fans away this weekend. Yeah, well, inside would be a good spot to be watching a basketball game. It is, so. absolutely, yeah.